Hi guys, I'm back. So I'm uh, here to do the uh, last uh, video for today. Um, I promised I would do a resin pour. So first off, I'm going to mix me some resin. Because I bought a lot. Too big. Uh, two times this. So I'm hoping that it's the good stuff. Yeah, it sort of smells the same as the other did. So um, what I'm going to do is weigh it because I have to. And we're going to do, let's see. Let's do a little bit more than that. I'd say I'm going to do 45. That's it. Oops, went to 46. 46 of that one. Now I have to get the ring off this one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. And putting it on zero. And 46 of this. Forty-four, forty-five, ew, forty-six, ah, forty-seven. What is this? The uh, oh, it's the hardener, so that's okay. So putting back on the lids, and let's go for some swirling. Now you have to um, make sure that you got everything nice and smooth and in the middle. Going around the edges, very important, on the bottom. And I was going to do some uh, jewelry too, but I've decided not to do that because I want to really, um, you know, do what I have to do with the paintings. And if I have, uh, if I was going to do jewelry, you know, it would just uh, mean that I got, had to haste and do stuff and get all stressed out. So that's why I just chose to do the paintings. Put this away. Get us the painting. Um, I think it should be go like that. Or maybe like, nah, like that. Okay, still stirring it all up. It really doesn't matter if there's bubbles in there. That's okay. Because we can get them out with the torch. I, w I would like a really thin layer of resin on there. Not too thick though. So I got double uh, gloves on my hands so that I can take one off when it gets all too sticky. How long have I been doing this? I'm not sure. I did clean the canvas with um, Dawn dish soap, but um, I think I used a lot of silicone in this one, so um, that's where it gets tricky with the uh, resin. And if it does go all denty and all crater-like. I don't know how to explain it. But if it gets all those dents and craters, I'll show you how I fix it. Ooh, there is a little wood in there. I'll have to get that out when I see it. Well, I think we've done enough stirring. Is it getting warm yet? Yeah, a little bit. There's the wood. Let's get you out. Yes, got, got it out. <laughs> Does not smell this stuff. I love it. Be 
because I was sort of scared that they'd send me the uh, old stuff. But this doesn't smell. Doesn't hurt my eyes, nothing. Okay, enough stirring. This time I'll take out the stick. That's it. Okay. I'm going to pour it in the middle here. And I'm going to try to cover it with a little bit of resin, not too much. I don't want a thick, thick coat. There it is. And normally you do this with one of those scrape things, which I will get. We can do that. But what I'd rather do is do it with my fingers. Yeah, I'm going to do it with my fingers. Because um, otherwise there'll be a lot on that scrape thing. And I don't want it so, so thick. I want it really thin. The colors are really popping now. That's something that is beautiful. See how I'm spreading it out really thin? Doing the side. And putting it over here. I do think I need a little bit more to do the sides. Whoops. This is kind of fun to do because um, it feels real smooth. I kind of like it, but I don't like it when it goes all sticky. So, but you can't help it, right? It's resin. So no, no point in complaining at going sticky because it should go sticky. Look at that. Wow. That is beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I don't think you can see it. Now I have to rest it on the table. Well, that is nice and shiny. That's cool. Now I'm going to try not to rest it on the table. Put a little on my finger. Put it on there. Can you see it? How smooth it is? Because I think that what the people are going for is just that it's really nice and shiny like um, like glass. So we're going to try and do that. Now let's see. Yeah, we've got a couple of spots here and there. Let's see if we can get them out of the way like this. Okay, see now you got this one glove really covered with the uh, with the resin, so I have to do it with my other hand. Ooh, ooh, that won't work. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I'll have to take one off. I wish I'd done three because I have to go in there again. See, that's where a little bend is there. Oh no, there's more. Oh, and a big one here. Okay. Now, I'll show you. I hope I can show you. See that there? That's from the silicone. That one's from the silicone. There it is. Okay. So we'll have to do some damage control. So I'm getting my dimethicone, one drop there, one drop there. Just a couple of drops all over the place. And now I am going to rub it back in. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. 
three men in the tub. And I am rubbing, rubbing, rubbing the silicone into the resin. You know, I don't think um, how much you can uh, clean this stuff that you get that silicone off there. I don't think so. So you'll have to do something like this to stop it from separating a little bit more. See here, it's nice and smooth. Not seeing any dents over there, but I think I see some here. So maybe one drop. That's one drop. one smooth that one is smooth but we'll smooth it again here we got some that's that and some over here okay now let's look at it oops there's one Two. Gotta come in with a little bit of silicone there and a little bit of silicone there. I think we forgot the whole side, this whole side. You know, the thing is not to do too much of that, uh, you don't put too much of that dimethicone on here. Just a couple of drops so that. It smooths out. Okay, let's see. Where's that blue coming from? I see a little bit of blue. I'm not sure if that was in there before. I guess it is. It was. So, no more dents there. No more there. Okay, gotta get the gloves off. I think that's about, oh, my hands are wet from those gloves. And now I'm trying to put on new gloves. That is a pain. That is a pain. Look at that. Oops. <laughs> Tore them right off. Okay. That'll do. Well, I do see some uh, little specks in here. They're not air bubbles, so they would have been gone by now. So I'm really not sure what they are. They're not air bubbles, so I'm sorry about that. So, that's about all I can do with it. There are at least no dents. I don't see any dents where you can look down on the canvas, so that's good. Um, I see that this stuff here, this is that iridescent, so that's kind of good looking. Let me check here. Nope. I don't see any dents. There are a couple of little raised things in there. But I'm thinking that it might be in the paint. I'll try to do something to them. I'm 
just to check. Nah, well, that does look like a little air bubble. But it isn't. No, it's not. I don't know what it is. Maybe um, a little bit of dust that was on the uh, on the canvas. Now let me check this one. Not much to do about it. Okay, guys, this is number one. I'm going to put it away here. And out comes number two, because I want to do this one too. So, a little of that. And we're going to rub it in. Oh, this one's warm. This is warmer than the other one. So that's usually a sign that it's really curing. As you can see, this is the one with the gold leaf. That's why I wanted to do it, because I want to see how that's, that's going to work. And I see a lot of denting and a lot of silicone. for a bit. Yep, here you can see them. Let's see if I can, there it is, see that? And over here, and there, and there, and there, and there. So. One drop there. Little drop there. One on the corner. One there. Oh, and one here. Okay. Now let's go at it again. Maybe I should put, um, what if you put a couple of drops in the resin before you start to pour or uh, stir? You know, just especially for this. I don't know. I could check that. I could do that. That's cool. that. Now let's see how that turns out. I don't know what those things are. Well, they're definitely not air bubbles because they'd be gone by now. Torch is empty. But it's absolutely not um, air bubbles, so I can see that. They would have been gone by now, and they're not. So uh, here I see a little separation. And 
uh, from now on I'm sticking to the uh, to the <laughs> polyurethane for the uh, varnishing yeah I'm gonna do that I do like the um, how it works you know on um, how you get the uh, beautiful uh, glassy look especially with um, the gold leaf but I'm gonna do the uh, the varnish I think there's more room for error if you do um, if you do the uh, brush on because if you if it's not totally like what you like you just do another layer and I know you can do that with the resin too but I'm wasting away these gloves it's way too expensive that was a hundred and twenty euros worth of resin on, in what I bought we'll see how it works when it's dry right now there are little specks in there but you know it's art that's it let's put that aside and that's it we're ready so thanks for watching guys I'll uh, put it up on uh, YouTube for people that are interested in how I do it. Look at that, how much resin I have left over. I gotta do some jewelry. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye.